No, you do not have to think about your desires all throughout the day in order for them to manifest, right? You don't have to think about your desires constantly all throughout the day in order for them to manifest, right? Some people say, um, you know, um, you have to be thinking about your desires every single day in order for them to manifest. Now, I'm not saying there's a problem with that, right? As long as you're thinking about them, well, thinking from them, right? Actually using your imagination and, and thinking from them. Well, whether you think from them or about them, just make sure it's in, you know, in a, in a positive way, right? In a way of you already knowing that you already have your desires, right? And there's no worry or doubts about it, right? Because usually sometimes when people thinking thinking about their desires, like, all day throughout the day and every single day you know it tends to build worry and doubt for them right because they're thinking about it due to the fact that it's not here in the 3d reality already you know and they're anxious because you know they want to they want it to they want it to come when they want it to come and that is right away but it doesn't always work like that because every seed has its own appointed hour right so you do not have to think about your desires um, all throughout the day, every single day. The main key is that you set the intentions, right? Whether through scripting or affirmations or imaginal acts, right? Once you set that intention, right? Whether it be morning or the afternoon or the night time before you, you go to bed or whether you do it like three times a day, morning, afternoon and night. When you're not doing anything, you don't have to be thinking about it. Right, and I'm not saying again that there's nothing wrong about thinking about your desires as long as it's from a positive standpoint, knowing that you already have your desires, right? But you can go about your day just doing whatever whatever it is that you want to do. For me, in my experience personally, on the mornings, what I do, I will wake up, I will do my little meditations, and I will do my imaginal acts or affirmations, right? Then once I've done that and I feel comfortable, you know, I go to my phone. And I'm not going to lie, sometimes I do pick up my phone even before I do anything, right? I'm not going to lie, I'm being very honest. But for the most part, I do my meditations and my little affirmations and imaginal acts just to start the day. And after that, I go, you know, I go to my phone, I, go, I scroll through social media, you know, I will go on YouTube, watch videos, spend some time with my nephews and niece. You know what I mean? I do, you know, I watch movies as usual, right? And then later on now in the afternoon time, again, probably, you know, I would do some more affirmations or imaginal acts again, depending on how we feel. Right? And then in the night time before I go to bed now, I will put my mind, you know, and put myself in the right mood, in the right state before I fall off to sleep. Whether whether by just giving thanks or saying, isn't it wonderful, you know? Right? But I don't think about my um, desires all throughout the day. If I have time on my hands and I'm not doing anything, you know, instead of idling, I would tell myself a story. Right? No, I'm not thinking about it, but I'm I'm living from it, right? I'm actually putting myself in the situation, right? There's a difference when you're thinking about something and thinking from it, right? When you're thinking from it, you're actually in it. You're actually being it, right? In the present moment, right? And they do that with, without any resistance, you know? Like, I just do it knowing that it's already done. They just do it for the fun of it and just to keep the spark going, as I would say all the time. But some people, you know, they, they think about what their desires all throughout the day, right? Usually because they want it right now in the present moment, you know, they want it to be here right now in the 3D reality. And that tends to build fear and, and worry, right? So you see the difference there, right? And there's nothing wrong with thinking about it all throughout the day, but it depends on what standpoint you're thinking about it from, right? And being aware of your emotions, while you're thinking about it all throughout the day. Is it lack? Is it worry because it's not here right away? Right? Or do you feel fulfilled knowing that it's already done? So you're just, you know, you're just keeping yourself in that momentum and in that state. Right? Because that, that's what actually builds resistance, you know, when you're holding on to something all the time. Just because it's not here in the 3D reality. Just learn to flow with it. Just, just let things go. You set the intention. When you come out of it and you feel satisfied you knowing that it's already done, you just go about your day and go about your day and do whatever it is that you, you, you have to do. 
But if it is that you find yourself shifting and, and worrying, even though you're going about your day doing what it is you have to do, then you will go back. You know, you will go back to the um to setting the intentions again. Right? Or just telling yourself a particular story about it. Right? You set the intentions, you let it go, and you go about your day. If you wave again, you go back to it, set the intention, you let it go, and go about your day. But just thinking about it, just thinking about it constantly, you know, like every single day, you don't have to. Right? Just know that it is already done. Alright? So, you set the intention, you feel comfortable about it, when you come out of it, you just go about your day and do whatever it is that you want to do. Right? Watch your TVs, have fun, you know, still play games, right? You don't you know, you don't have to be like twenty four seven, um I would say so called listening to positive stuff too. You don't have to do that like twenty four seven. You can still have times where, you know, you want to you might want to listen to music or watch your favorite movies that you would that you would watch before. Um, you had a little spiritual awakening or whatever. There's nothing wrong with that. Just just be aware, you know, of your of your state and your mood, right? And that's the beautiful thing about it. We have a choice, you know, to to shift from different states whenever we feel whenever we feel too, right? And that's that's the beauty about it. All right. So again. You do not have to think about your desires 24-7, right? Just know that it is already done once you set that intention. you be on it every single day, though, right? And when you start to waver, yes, you will, you will go back to it as many times as you as you want to, right? Only if you're wavering, but just to be thinking about it consistently 24-7, right? You know, when people do that for most of the time, as I said before, it's because, you know, they don't have it written in the 3D reality. And it builds anxiety, you know? And they have kind of like fear surrounding it. It's kind of like fear based because they actually want it right now with the 3D reality. Okay? So you set your attention, and then after that, just go about your business and do whatever it is that you have to do, or whatever it is that you want to do, all right? Knowing that it is already done. So I hope this video was of help to you. Those of you who are watching, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to share my videos as well if you want to. Click the notification bell as well for more videos to come. Alright? I am Be Floss to God and I'm sending you love, peace, joy, prosperity and blessings as usual. Alright? Peace and have a great day and have a great weekend. Alright? One love.